for the defense tonight. Yeah, you know, the first one in school history, you know, I'm proud of them because they played so great last week and, um, you know, really uh, played uh, obviously good enough last week for, you know, us to win the football game and, and uh, it was a heartbreaker that we didn't. But they came out and played really well um, tonight. I think, you know, I, um, defense and then also I think on, you know, in all phases, you know, just – uh, a couple discipline things, too many penalties, you know, stuff like that. But um, for us to get a to get a goose egg on the board and the, the, the school's first shutout, um, you know, I think it's a great thing. And, and I'm proud of the defense and, and the staff for, for what they've able to do. What um, assess Mark Keto in his first game back? I and mean, he looked pretty sharp. Or... Yeah, I thought he looked sharp. You know, I'm mean, still rusty in some areas. You know, so, some of the some of the zone read stuff and things like that, and 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 throwing our bubble screens and. and and that stuff, you know, some of that he was a little bit rusty. Um, you know, tried to make too much happen a couple times, you know, where he needed to just take a, you know, either take a, uh, either a sack or throw the ball out of bounds. And, and he, just tried, he just tried to do too much a couple times. I'd like to see him be a little smarter, you know, with the football. And, um, but obviously um, having him back out there was good, you know, and, and uh, it was a good game for him to, um, you know, get some, uh, get some reps and, and get the good feel going into uh, conference play. And you know, one thing about it, I was going to get him out sooner. Um, I was I was hoping if we scored on one of the first couple drives of the second half, we were going to get him out. And um, but then he had a couple bad series in a row, and I'm like, I don't want to pull him out in a bad series, you know. So uh, I wanted him to have some success before we pulled him out there in the second half. And, and luckily he, was, he did that. And, and uh, so we got some good stuff to look at uh, film and, and hopefully uh, get better. Talk about Antoine Haynes. I mean, that's, that's quite a quite a show today. Well, that's what I want to see him do, you know. And, and uh, he's got an opportunity now, and we've kind of eased him into this really slow. Um, you know, one thing we didn't want to do is put him in a, in a bad situation to where he wasn't successful, and then um, you know lost confidence. So, you know, we eased him in a little bit. Newberry, I think he played four or five plays and a little bit more last week. And, um, you know, and then um, actually he didn't play that much more last week. You know, just a few plays last week. And then we thought that this was a great opportunity to get him in the game. And, and, uh, and he showed that he can be an explosive, uh, dynamic player for us. Uh, Coach, uh, this was a program that came in tonight that was in a very similar situation to what your program was last week. Yeah. Uh, how did you make the kids aware of that this week and uh, any special preparations made? No, I mean, I, I just told them the truth. I said, guys, I mean, you, you want me to tell you the truth or, or not? And um, so I went in and I said, you know, truthfully, guys, um, you know, we should beat them. And, and we should beat them, you know, by several touchdowns. You know, if you want me to tell you the truth, that's what should happen. And um, but – let me tell you, they're, and I said the exact same thing. I said, they're in the same situation as what we were last week. Mm -hmm. We want to go in and improve our, ourselves. As players, you want to go and improve yourself. You're, you're, you're playing your step-up opponent um, in a D1 double A's. Well, it's the same thing for them. They're playing their D2. This is their Super Bowl for the year. Mm -hmm. And they would love nothing more than to come in and, and upset us. And, um, and and I just I just point blank told them, and that's the truth. And if, if, you, if you take practice off and if you don't come out here focused and ready to go, then, then it can happen, you know, and, um, you know, so once again, I thought our focus could be, could have been better. Um, I thought our discipline could be better, um, but, you know, I, I thought we still came in very motivated to win the football game. Uh, the assumption to health would be nice with the first three games that you had, the physicality. How did you come at it tonight? I noticed Kenny Johnson was getting, getting iced down. How's your team's health right now? I think, I, I think it's good. I, I don't think there's anything... Um, that I've noticed that uh, anybody came out of the game to where I think it's going to be, um, you know, out for any period of time longer than, um, mm -hmm. you know, a, a couple days. So um, but I'm, I'm hoping that we're as healthy as we've been all year, to be honest with you. Um, you know, we'll see tomorrow. We'll talk to the doctor tomorrow morning and, and talk to the, to, the, to the athletic trainers and see how, how things went. But I think we're in good shape. Good. Um, not only was this the first shutout, uh, you also had your first uh, safety in uh, school history. How does that feel? I didn't even know that. that uh, I guess <laughs> forgot. You know. Um, yeah, uh, Kinlaw came off the edge. He got the sack there. That, that was good. And you know, it, it started by um, you know, started by the punt by, by Kyle Gollickson, Man, I mean, that was a heck of a long punt. Um, you know, I don't know how long it was, but great coverage, and we let it we let it get down to the you know one inch line, and they tried to sneak it out of there the first down, and then. 
um, and then you know tried to drop back from underneath center and Kinlaw got off the edge and got the sack. So um, that, that's once again that's another great thing. Um, if the defense would have played this game by themselves, they would have won two nothing. You know, so that's 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 a good thing. Yeah. You know, for our um, defense. Also, the um, you know this being the first win of the season, you know, you're going into conference play. How do you build in this momentum coming in this weekend? Well, um, you know, obviously just uh, the mindset of us getting a win and getting a, a resounding win um, and feeling good about ourselves, I think that's important. And, and I think that our players um, are very motivated. I mean, when we went into the locker room, they were talking about North Alabama, you know, already. So, um, you know, we knew that um, this was a non-conference game that was, was going to be an opportunity for us to um, – you know, come out and perform well, and also we talked about during the week. This is a um, momentum-building game going into conference play, and, and that's what we want to do. And, and we were able to do that, and uh, you know, hopefully, we have some good confidence going into North Alabama this week. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Steve Wilson in the Friday Night Locker. Mm -hmm.